Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. If you're in the United States and you're experiencing this polar vortex like I am, I hope you guys are staying warm and staying indoors. This is going to be a short video on how you can have an adhesive farm and how you can use that to get caps as well as just uh, different ways you can utilize junk to get caps. This was in response to a subscriber who asked me to make this video, so shout out to you. I know there's a lot of videos on this already, but someone requested it and I wanted to oblige. With that said, let's get right into it. So there's four things you're going to need for an effective adhesive farm. You're going to need corn, potato plants, and mutt fruit plants, as well as purified water. If you're short of those plants, an easy way to find them is up here in the Toxic Valley at Cobbleton Farm. You can find all manner of vegetables here, including razor grain as well. Another place you can find them is also at the Sunday Brothers Cabin, located here just east of Top of the World. And it's just north of the Cranberry Bog and Watoga. The other nice thing about this location is that there are a bunch of crafting stations you can utilize um, if you just wanted to come here rather than have your own adhesive farm you could actually just use locations like this to make adhesive as well or in addition to your own uh, adhesive farm at your camp. There's also bags of fertilizer here too if you need that to plant your crops at your base you can pick up some here at the Sunday Brothers cabin. The vault Agricultural Facility also has a uh, fertilizer. Pretty much any type of greenhouse that you see has a chance of spawning it, so those are good places to check. So you're going to want to get these three plants for yourself, and you're also going to want to have a ready supply of purified water. Easiest way to have the purified water is just to get a purified water filter. That way you get a certain amount of purified water each hour and you don't have to worry about it. You can just sit back and let the purified water roll in. Now my base is not very conducive uh, to having a sizable adhesive farm because I don't have a whole lot of dirt uh, near me. I'm built uh, high up in the mountains. I'm actually going to hopefully be making a video on that soon to kind of show you guys where I built. It's a pretty neat location. But if, even if you don't have access to dirt, you can use campfires and place your plants on those uh, like I did here. So with the potato plants, I was able to get four of them uh, per campfire. And then the mutt fruit plants, I was able to get two. With the corn, unfortunately, I was only able to get one. I was not I'd nailed with it for a while and I wasn't able to get more than one corn plant per fireplace. So unfortunately, if you want to have a lot of corn plants, unless there's something I'm missing, then you're going to have to have a lot of campfires as well. After your plants are ready to harvest, you just want to pick them and then get your purified water and then head to a crafting station, uh, a food crafting station that is. And at the bottom under utility, you'll find a item called vegetable starch. And this, if you craft it, will give you two adhesive per vegetable starch. Two useful perks to have are the green thumb perk, which allows you to collect double the fauna or flora when you harvest it. Basically just when you harvest plant type things, whether it's your own or in the wild, you'll get twice as much. So that's pretty helpful. And the other perk is the super duper perk. This allows you to have a slight chance of crafting double the item that you're crafting basically. At the highest uh, level of this perk card, it's a 30% chance. So it's not extremely high, but in this video, I actually got it to activate with the two that I made. So instead of getting just two vegetable starts, I got three, so that's pretty nice. After you have your vegetable starch, then just head on over to a Tinker Workbench station. After you've scrapped it down into excess adhesive, you can actually then bulk your excess adhesive with plastic. If you need plastic, I have a video on an easy way to obtain uh, plastic, so I'll put that up on the screen here. But after you've bulked all your adhesive, or at least the amount that you want, then it's just as simple as heading to a vendor to sell it, because as you can see, See here bulk adhesive sells for quite uh, a large number of caps and of course you can utilize this for any excess junk that you might have to where you might say well I have a lot of glass here or I have a lot of leather or cloth um, like I'm doing here I'm just bulking one of them to show you guys um, how much you can sell them for chances are you have a lot of excess junk just lying around that you're not utilizing so rather I mean you don't have to bulk all of it keep some just in case you have a crafting recipe that uses that particular resource but it can be useful to not only free up space in your stash to bulk some of this stuff and sell it but of course you're gonna get caps from it and that's always good I just bought a bunch of plants so I'm pretty much all out of caps so I need to get selling some stuff here so you can see here, I'm just giving you guys an example of the base price of some of these items. This is without any perk cards uh, that make prices better, and it's without any chems that increase your price selling as well. 
if you have those perk cards and if you have those chems then you're just going to get more back and they're really good to use in tandem with this uh strategy to get caps or pretty much any strategy to get caps get a bunch of the stuff and then before you sell it put on that perk card take those chems and you're going to get that much more money back so that's going to wrap up this video guys and before i let you go just want to say thank you so much for your support my channel's grown quite a bit over the past uh, month and a half or so here just hit 300 subscribers so thank you all for that and for your continued support definitely stay tuned because the videos will keep on coming here on fallout 76 and then possibly too thinking about picking up anthem and uh, starting some videos on that as well if that's something you'd be interested to leave a comment in this video saying yay or nay on anthem i'm going to try out the demo this weekend possibly with uh, beeps uh, he's interested in it as well so we might get some videos on that as well so leave your feedback uh, in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, especially the particular subscriber that contacted me about this. If you didn't, leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next installment. Stay warm, everyone.